So we do the last gold ring and then we're going to do some white. Okay, so the white is going to go behind the triangle configuration. So back to the white. So I could just leave this plain and not paint it white. But it's, it's nice to have the same surface as the rest of the entre. So mix up white paint or you could also use white pencils. Okay. Also makes a nice smooth circle on the inside of the gold. Make sure I'm not smudging my gold. If there's places where you had heavy pencil, you might have to go over a little bit more just to cover the pencil lines. There are three colors, three main colors in this Durga Yantra in the center. So one is going to be the basic yellow color we started with. Let's see. Almost looks like we have enough here, so I might just keep that. Might end up coming over here in a minute. The second color is going to be this background color. See, this is what's neat about Yantra is you often use basically all the same colors all over again. So this is going to be the middle color. Sometimes when the colors are nearer the center, you actually have to add a little bit of white. So I might add a little white to that. I guess the smaller areas are more concentrated and so they look darker. Okay, so it actually will be like an optical illusion and it'll look like the same color. So you make a good amount of that. So that's one color. The yellow is one color, two color. And then there's an interesting thing that happens where you mix the two together to make the third color. I think I'm gonna need a little bit more yellow. Here, take some over here. So let's see, now we'll do a test. So the idea is that that middle color is a combination of the yellow and the darker color. Pretty good. All right, so that's, that's that. Maybe I'll put a tiny bit more yellow in the middle color. Seems it could use just a little bit more. See, it's a little more in the middle. All right, now we're ready to paint. The final color is gonna be red, but let's mix that separately. To make the central triangle, we are going to use the same red we started with, with the petals. I 
and a little bit of orange so just a little lighter this is the same color go back to our original color chart See, it's just a little bit lighter than the original color. So it's, a, it's a great, you know, we've got a great warm orangey, pinky array here. All right, so finish up the red. See how it's just a little bit, it is actually a little bit lighter than the petals, but it doesn't look really much different. Okay, now after painting the red so nicely, we are going to think about these little flowers. The flowers are going to have a, a mixture of white and then little thin pale blue lines delineating the petals. So I'm going to mix up those two colors and then paint them. Alright, so we still have a little white here from before add a little to that and then I like to use this blue you could actually use any color you like to outline these petals just something nice about this combination of the blue opposite the orange right the opposites in the color wheel so let's just add up this Mix it up a bit. The white can be kind of thin, almost like a glaze on the petals. And then let's go in and look at this blue color. So the blue color, I use cerulean blue, but you could use cobalt blue also. So cerulean blue is kind of turquoisey. So I'm going to take this white and do a little bit three petals this is kind of the ornamentation of the Devi, the goddess so Om Doom Durga Yenamaha I worship the energy of Durga that all-powerful love energy that she has and I'm just making kind of like adding beauty to beauty so with that same paintbrush I'm just gonna put a little blue on my paintbrush and just kind of highlight some of it this is where you can be a little painterly with your paintbrush nothing strict about this petal operation all right maybe even just do a little few creases at the bottom all right The bindu is the gold. So let's go back to the gold. So remember the bindu is where Duga lives. So as we honor this bindu with a gold dot, we might like to recite our mantra. Om Dum Durga -e Namah Om Dum Durga -e
So I usually do one coat of the gold, let it dry for a little bit because the paint will probably seep into the compass hole. And then I'll do another layer, another few mantras, and then another layer. Usually I do three layers of gold on the bindu. The final adorning of Goddess Durga.